Next on the list is Miss Luring Beauty by Roving Premier Contractors Incorporated. That is owned and managed by Mr. and Mrs. Irving and Rosaline Paras. Ladies and gentlemen, our Miss RPCI Alluring Beauty is. And of course, to hand the award is Miss Jamie Diane Ortiz Espina, representative of the owners and managers, Mr. and Mrs. Irving and Rosaline Paras. And you are this year's Miss RPCI Alluring Beauty candidate number. 
Candidate number nine, Nikki Marion Bontes. Another corporate award to be given is the Waikorat Beauty and Figure by MKV Builders, owned and managed by engineer Crimson Lumbag. The SAS certificate and prize will be awarded by MKV owner and manager, engineer Crimson Lumbag. Ladies and gentlemen, to receive the award, Waikorat Beauty and Figure is none other than Candidate number, candidate number four, Mary Shanda Meneldo. There you go, congratulations to our winner, candidate number four. Next, ladies and gentlemen, is the favorite candidate of the Marlon Mecoral Online and the social media team. We'll be receiving the 2019 Miss Beliran Island.com Award. And the candidate is... And of course, to present the award is Mr. Marlon Mecoral's representative, Mr. William Francis Shino Jew. And our Miss Beliran Island.com is candidate number congratulations candidate number eight leslie may palau sanon you have it ladies and gentlemen let's give a big round of applause to the winners of our corporate awards once again congratulations girls and of course we still have more awards later on this pageant ladies and gentlemen and of course thank you very much to all our sponsors for, for your undying support. However, ladies and gentlemen, our corporate awards has no bearing to the total scores of the ladies. I know everyone is excited to see how our ladies will showcase their finesse. So let's not keep our audience waiting and let's get to know our judges and the criteria for judging. Chrysler and Hannah. Yes, thank you so much, Jen. Behind the crown beauty queens are esteemed individuals who don't really get to enjoy the night as we, the audience, do. They have a tedious job in choosing whoever fits the crown. Tonight, we have six individuals from differing fields of pageantry, entertainment industry, politics, and governance to ensure the crown is given to the lady of holistic elegance. Ladies and gentlemen, our first judge is a doctor entrepreneur and an account head of Visayas Hyundai Cebu Incorporated and an advocate with Reway International Fleet. She is Miss Hilda E. Sordano. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, our second judge is a board member of the second district of Biliran and currently overseeing the implementations on youth and sports. In 2016, our second judge has become the Naval Fiesta Executive Committee Chairperson. Ladies and gentlemen, our second judge is Honorable Board Member Alan Tubis. Our third judge is a midwife, a public servant of Naval for six years. She is part of the Mrs. Philippines Social Club of New York last 2018 one of the modern heroes for several years and has now returned to her own locality, our third judge, Miss Andrea Mecaral Simon. 
And of course, our next judge for tonight is the producer of the Sex Bomb Girls and a freelance artist agent of ABS-CBN and GMA Network. Also, he is the proud manager of Gabukgayan's Pride, the Street Shockers, which performed in the national noontime series, It's Showtime. Knowing Biliranan talents, he has opened opportunities for our locals in the entertainment industry. Moreover, he is also an active Rotarian and its manifestation was when he was awarded as Rotary International in 2018. A humanitarian and a philanthropist, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Yudes Castillo. And the chairman of the board of judges, ladies and gentlemen, is a former technical and management consultant of the House of Representatives. She is a Mrs. Philippines Globe finalist, Miss Maharlika Baguio, Miss Pangasinan, FHM Girl Next Door finalist, Ned Magazine model and finalist for White Castle Girl. She is happily married to Mr. Jerry Victoria Spina with a 10-year-old smart and handsome boy. She is none other than Miss Jamie Diane Ortiz Espina. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the people to scrutinize our candidates this evening. And of course, we also have four exposures this evening. That is the production number, the swimwear, the evening gown, the preliminary and final, the preliminary question and answer, and of course, the final Q&A. Moreover, ladies and gentlemen, scrutinized by our judges in the following criteria, the ladies surely has to meet the following standards. We have production number that is rated 10%, swimwear 10%, the evening gown 10%, preliminary question and answer that is 40%, and of course, lastly, 30% for beauty and personality for an overall score of 100%. Well, I bet everyone is ready. Are you ready for the next exposure of our candidates? Ay parang ang hina. Di tulad ng pagmamahal ko sa kanya. Ulitin natin. Guys, are you ready for Miss Naval and Miss Naval Tourism Swimsuit Competition? Good, but we're hold please hold on to your seat. Before we proceed to the swimmer exposure, let us first direct our attention to the screens for the following individuals, establishments, and institutions made the Miss Naval and Miss Naval Tourism 2019 possible. Major sponsors. Congressman Jerry Boy Espina Jr. Governor Rogelio J. Espina. Mayor Gerard Roger M. Espina. Honorable Vicente Corso Jr. Honorable Marietta C. Ebio. Honorable Ana L. Meraca. Honorable Fina G. Jose. Honorable Ophelia T. Espina. Honorable Ben T. Olid. Honorable Eduardo Gaviola. Honorable Camilo Castro. Honorable Martin Lagat. Jerry Victor Espina. J.D. Ortiz Espina Charlie Sabinay Lob Dub Cafe Phoenix Finds Life LMB Construction Rotoflex MCT Construction Melgen Concrete Products MKB Builders and Supply 
jealous place. Paper works. Officina. ELF. MCP. Mat Mika. Francis Casinillo from Ireland. Wad Space Rental Services. Don Sidio Fitness Gym. John Tons Marketing. Chicos Restobor and KTV. Wad Games and Amusement Center. Corporate sponsors MKB Builders and Supply Love Dog Sailor Sizzling Steak Valentos Roofing Premier Contractors Incorporated and Ireland Chloe Cafeteria Bumbers Grill Once again in behalf of the organizers of this prestigious event and of course our fiesta execom committee we would like to extend our warmest gratitude to everyone who in one way or another made this event truly successful we hope that the good partnership will not end here rather continue for many more long years once again thank you let's give a big round of applause to all our sponsors well deserved well ladies and gentlemen the next part of this competition will showcase the beauty poise body and curves of our lovely ladies wearing the creation of miss jd ortez espina ladies and gentlemen this is the, the 2019, 2019 miss naval swimsuit competition, competition. <laughs>
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, your 10 equally lovely ladies. Let's give a big round of applause to our lovely ladies. Special thanks to Miss JD Ortiz Espina for the beautiful creation. And our ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back on stage your host, Hannah and Chris. The gymnasium is really flaming up. These ladies here are on point tonight, and these showcases that our candidates are not really ready. They are physically fit and ready despite their busy schedules. So how are you doing in this stage at this moment, Chrysler? I'm okay. Do you I, or feel, I'm trying to be okay. Do you feel any pressure right now? <laughs> I think I am the one who's really on the hot seat, right? Oh, standing but of course, on the hot seat. yes, true. That is true, Chrysler. These ladies are actually wearing confidence. And as what the millennials used to say, and I quote, Sana all. Yes, of course. Right. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, the conception that the swimwear exposure being a competition of a perfectly small hip is not actually true. Personally, I think, Chris, that the swimwear competition celebrates different body types and how well women can come out of confidence despite not having the socially constructed definition of sexy. Hana, parang ang lalim ng lugot natin dun, ah. Saan ba to nanggagaling? But yes, that is true, ladies and gentlemen. We usually think that the swimwear competition is just a showcase of the body of our, our ladies. But actually, it's how they wear the confidence on the stage. Exactly. I, I agree on you on that statement that sexiness, sexiness is indeed on how you really carry yourself, right? But in Miss Naval and Miss Naval Tourism 2019, we are taking it to another level. Pageant here does not only promote physical wellness, but it also promotes mental verdure. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the preliminary question and answer portion. So guys, are you ready to hear the answers of your favorites? So can I hear the number, the candidate number of your favorites, guys? Really, our audience is much anticipating this exposure. And I tell you, Chris, despite the pressure that our candidates are feeling, they still manage to so show us their Navalenia smile. So of course, we would like to ask our audience to please avoid howling or shouting while our contestant is still answering the question. Can we do that, Navalenios? Let us now keep the roll, the ball rolling with candidate number one, Miss Misty Miles Jude Saragossa. Hello, good evening, Misty Miles. How are you? I'm feeling fine, actually, with the thought that my family is here to support me. And there are a lot of people also who are here, who, cheer, who are cheering for me. And for that, I thank you, all of you. Definitely a queen to your family who are here right now. And of course, your question is, you have actually written in your bio data that one of the pressing issues of the country is the proliferation of fake news or false information. What do you think should we do to stop this? So let me repeat the question. You have written in your bio data that one of the pressing issues that the country is facing is the proliferation of fake news or false information. What do you think should we do to stop this phenomenon? 
As we all know, in today's era, the, in the era of internet, in the vast space of internet, that false information could easily spread, that we could easily get false information. And first of that, it is that it isn't called fake news. There isn't actually anything that's called fake news because news itself should be true. So what exists right now is false information. And for that matter, what we can do to avoid spreading, let's start with ourselves. Let's be educated on how to find fake I mean false information and how to identify which one of them are false. So first, let's know the site that we are currently on, if it is legitimate or not. And second is if the source is also legitimate. And most of all, let's all be aware. If we think that that news is already false, if we already had a, a hunch that that news is already false, let's do some re research ourselves. Let's be responsible enough to do a little research for ourselves. So in that matter, if we are educated, all of us are educated on how to find false information, then we can help to stop spread false information. And for that matter, false information wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be prospering in our society in the internet era. So let's all be responsible once again. Thank you. Very well said. Thank you so much, Ms. Ms. Timas Jude A. Saragosa. Just, yes. just for the information of everyone in the gymnasium tonight, these questions were not given prior to the competition. These questions were just given here at the stage. Yes, exactly. Let us not keep the... Audience waiting, let's proceed to contestant number two, Roname Costello Samante. Roname, how do you feel? I'm feeling great, I'm pressured, and of course, honored, because this is the day that we're all waiting for. And right now, I'm here in this stage standing with dignity and humility. I bet the preparation is really not that easy, but here is your question. You said that one of the changes that you want to see happen in this world is related to the severe issue on animal cruelty. What do you think you can do to achieve this change? You said that one of the changes that you want to see happen in this world is related to the severe issue on animal cruelty. What do you think should you do to achieve this change? On this generation, we're lacking humanity and discipline. I am ashamed of those people who, do, who are doing those kind of improper doings, which I believe that we should learn how to respect, not just because it's an animal, but because it's a living thing. And with that, let's show everyone that we are capable of showing, showing the world that we don't just base, we don't just, we don't just base lives on, on something. Instead, let's show love in animals. Thank you. Very well said. Thank you so much, Ms. Ronamik Costello Samande. Very timely questions because right here in Naval, we just experienced animal cruelty when there were animal or dog poisoning right here in our locality. So, very nice answer, candidate number two. And of course, let's welcome on stage candidate number three, Judeline G. De Los Santos. How are you tonight, Judeline? I'm feeling great and nervous as well. But that's okay because I know you are ready to face this question. And of course, it goes this way. You are now currently taking up Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Social Science. You said that you want to become a successful educator. This is timely because we are celebrating Teacher's Day. For you, who is a successful educator or teacher? Again, the question is, because we are celebrating Teacher's Day today, and you are taking a Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Social Sciences, for you, who do you think is a successful educator or teacher? 
For me, a successful educator is an educator that is willing to influence, to educate everyone, to strive harder for their dreams, to never give up with what they dream for, and is willing to become part of someone's success in life. That would be all. Thank you. Very good. Thank you so much, candidate number three. I'll take this stage also to say Happy Teacher's Day, Happy Mom. Happy Teacher's Day. Happy Teacher's Day, Happy everyone. Happy Teacher's Day to all the teachers who are around. So, Let's now proceed to contestant number four, Miss Mary Chandra Merhildo. <laughs> Miss Mary, who is with you tonight, is supporting you. Well, I have my classmates there, over there, supporting me tonight. Thank you! And I also have my parents. They're just around. Thank you, Mama and Papa, for coming. That's very sweet. Let's now proceed to your question. Your motto caught my attention, which says, Accept both compliments and criticism. It takes both sun and rain for a flower to grow. How relevant is this passage to you now that you are joining this competition? Again, your motto caught me attention, which says, accept both compliments and criticism. It takes both the sun and rain for a flower to grow. How relevant is this passage to you now that you are joining this competition? Well, it takes both criticism and compliments to, for a flower to grow. For me, it de defines the success and failing. That failing, I get that is my ingredient to success. That sometimes in our life, we have to be, to be wrong, to be right, 